Hey gang, welcome, welcome, welcome to day five, the last day of the Course Creators Challenge here on Facebook. I'm just going to dive on over to the old Facebook and make sure that we are live in the Digital Mavericks Facebook group and we should also be live on our Facebook page. How are you guys all doing? Hey, uh, while I'm here, do me a favor, let me know this is all working. Let me know which country are you in? Where are you all? Where are you all? I want to know where you are. Which country are you in? Uh, just let me know in the comments so that I can get an affirmative that it's all working and that you can all see me and hear me. I'm going to come over to the old Facebook here, do a little bit of a refresh here in the Digital Mavericks Facebook page. And because I'm on camera, it's going to take 800 years. There we go. Uh, here we go. Look at that. We're live. Yes, we're live. It's working. Fabulous. Cool. Uh, so just let me know uh, where you are from. Here we go. Robert Mecklen is here, says, great. That's where he's from. Robert is from great. Unreal. How are you, Robert? <laughs> uh, Facebook user is from Australia. There we go. Facebook user. That's what happens when you don't click the link and give StreamYard explicit permission for us to grab your name and your photo. Jennifer Franklin is here from the USA. Hi, Jennifer Franklin. How are you doing? Uh, Robert is from Washington, D.C. in the suburbs in the USA. Emily Bryant is here from New Zealand. Hey, Emily. How are you doing? Thanks for joining in. Yogesh is here from India. Woohoo! Uh, Chris Sweeney is here from Sydney. Hello, Chris Sweeney from Sydney. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, have a look at this. Paulina Harpy from Vanuatu who, in other news, just joined the Mavericks Club. Woohoo! Welcome, Paulina, you absolute legend. I cannot wait to hang out with you. It's going to be super awesome. You are in for the ride of your life. We're going to have a great time together. Uh, congratulations. Tina Hughes is here from Down Under in Las Vegas. <laughs> Akira Zabala is here from Buenos Aires in Argentina. Hey, Akira, how you doing? Thanks for joining in. Michael Rumpf is here from Berlin, Germany, very early. Dude, what time is it where you are? It must be like... 1 a.m.? I reckon it's 1 a.m. You're either still up or you went to bed and got up. Uh, Angie Neal is here from Bris Vegas. Hey, Angie, how you doing? And Kelvin Mui is here from Australia. Who, guess what? Kelvin also joined Mavericks Club yesterday. Hey, Kelvin, how you doing? Welcome to the gang. Welcome to the Platinum Club. Congratulations. Can't wait to hang out with you. Kaz Walter is here. Hey, Kaz, how you doing? Thanks for joining in. Alex Baccarella is here from Sydney. Awesome. You guys are great. I love how, how uh, engaged you guys are. Alison Hartman is here. Good morning from Australia. Hello, Alison. How are you doing? Uh, and Maine is here. Maine from our office in the Philippines is here. Look at that. It's 7 a.m. in the Philippines and Maine is here on the call. You legend. We love you. Lee Firth is here from the Gold Coast in Queensland. Hey, Lee. How you doing? Joshua Denny is here from the East Coast of Canada. Awesome. And Sheila Hurd is here from Canada. Matthew Mayo from Brisbane, Australia. Is that how I say your name, Matthew? Matthew Mayo from Brisbane, Australia. I hope I'm saying your name right. Ron Pearson, eight hours north of San Diego in the fire and wine country. Eight hours north of San Diego. Isn't that like uh, eight hours north of San Diego? Isn't that like also six hours north of LA? <laughs> it's like saying you're 10 hours north of Mexico. Uh, whereabouts are you, my friend? Are you in Petaluma? Are you up that far? Is that eight hours from San Diego? I don't know. Hit me up. Let me know. All right. Um, hey, yo, still in Southern California, says Jay Sand. Excellent, excellent. All right. Big, big news today. Of course, we are announcing the winner of our, uh, of our iPad Pro and our Apple Pencil. Huge news. Uh, and we're also going to be revealing the entire blueprint the entire course creator's blueprint and letting you know how you can use it. Here is the big promise of today. Uh, we're going to teach you, show you how to turn your expertise into a highly lucrative online course without the overwhelm. How to turn your expertise into a highly lucrative online course without the overwhelm. My job is just to help you guys get unstuck and get you moving in the right direction so that you can get some traction and you can start to get some results uh, like some people have been doing already this week. It's been amazing. 
uh, to to watch the activity, the flurry of activity going on in the group. And uh, I'm just typing a little message here to somebody. Secret squirrel business going on behind the scenes here, ladies and gentlemen, right? Secret squirrel business going on behind the scenes here, ladies and gentlemen. I will reveal all very shortly. Don't worry. Um, and Sheila Hurd says, this week has given me such clarity. Yes. I now understand the rush you feel every day by helping people, Troy, and I want more. Oh, I cannot, I cannot tell you how much that means, Sheila. It is an absolute rush. I walk out of here after my live streams and I walk out into the house, which is that way. And I'm pumped. I'm so excited. I walk out and I'm like, yeah, baby. And I'm like high-fiving my three-year-old. And it's uh, it's uh, super, super, super fun. Now, we have some some secret squirrel business going on backstage here that I can't share with you. But just uh, be with me here. It's going to be very exciting. Amy Hall is here from San Diego. Jennifer Franklin, excited for the blueprint reveal. Oh, yeah, that's coming up. Uh, yes, Kelvin says, yeah, agree, have given me a lot of courage too. Awesome. Love it. Uh, this is like the most fun I have in in my job here is turning up and helping people. Uh, Robert says it's a low five with a three-year-old. Yeah, it is, exactly. Now, I am going to reveal the entire course creator's blueprint a little bit later on, so stay with me there, and I'm going to show you how you can get access to that and what it means and how you can use it and how we can work together to help you. But I'm just waiting for uh, some secret squirrel business going on in the background here. I'm just listening to my producers. Yes, yes. What's happening there? Oh, interesting, interesting. Very good. It's going to be very, very exciting indeed. Uh, Chris Sweeney says, it's been an amazing ride this week. I can't believe I even got three. I'm in. Legend. Good stuff. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I do actually have someone who I think is going to join us here. Let's hope this works. (laughs) Hello. Who do we have here? Hello. Hello. Is that is that uh, Angie Neal by any chance? It is. Hello, Angie. How are you? Great, great. You're a bloody legend. Thank you. <laughs> You've taken more action this week than I've seen in a long time. It's been amazing to watch. Oh, it's just been awesome. I'm just exploding with excitement. <laughs> no, can I just... Can I just tell you, um, from a educator's point of view, uh, this is it's really exciting when we put something like this together, but it's all academic until people actually start to take action and get results with it. And so when when you started sharing what you were doing and some of the results you were getting, it just validates everything that we're doing at our end. And it's like a massive tick in the box. Yes. And, and <laughs> so for me, it's like, yes, I'm not crazy. I'm not a lunatic. This stuff actually works and I know it works. <laughs> but, so I want to thank you so much for being so engaged this week. It's oh, been thank, and thank you guys. I've just watch. it's been awesome. I've always wanted to do this and this has just validated it and given me the confidence I needed. Awesome. Well, I don't think it's any surprise to announce that you are the winner of the iPad Pro and the Apple Pencil. So you've got, uh, I'll I'll get your details offline, but you've got one of these bad boys coming with the Apple Pencil. Um, I don't know the Apple Pencil's gone missing. (laughs) There we go. There's the Apple Pencil. I don't know if you're familiar with, uh, have you used an iPad Pro with the Apple Pencil much before in the past? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I've, great. I've, I've used one before, but not as proficiently as you. <laughs> uh, so I'd love to learn more. Yeah, well, there's one of these coming your way, so I'll get your Yay! details offline and uh, we'll get that sent up to you. And uh, But also I just really wanted to thank you for being so active this week and, and helping me, keeping me motivated and inspired. It's been amazing to watch, so uh, thank you for everything. Oh, thank you. I've It's just been amazing. And... I just I just can't wait to to get my course out there and and follow the blueprint. Yeah. <laughs> it's so cool. It's so much fun. It's so much fun. And that you Thank know you. um I think someone pinged me uh just in the comments here and said, you know, the rush of helping people and the the adrenaline and the gratitude that you get from from people is just it's oh. it's a fantastic it's a fantastic way to help people because you've it got leverage. Is. You can, you can you can put you can package your, your your stuff up and you can help hundreds or thousands of people all over the world and you're not just restricted to working with the clients one on one. That's what I love about oh, the online course model. 
and that's that's been a big hole back in my business is that I want to help more people but couldn't so now yeah. Yeah. bang awesome. <laughs> just love it just so excited good stuff all right well hey thanks for jumping on at the last minute too Angie had no, no idea this was going on. I just pinged her a message, and message before and said, hey do you want to jump on and join in so thank you so much for that really appreciate it that is so awesome thank you awesome. no worries Angie I'll love let you, you go guys. Okay. love you too take care bye, bye. All right, that's Angie Neal. Uh, she now is the uh, proud owner of a brand new iPad Pro and Apple Pencil coming her way. And that was no surprise because she is an absolute superstar. She's taken heaps of action this week. And uh, look at that. We managed to get through a week-long challenge on Facebook and give away an iPad, and they didn't ban us. So there you go. Turns out you can run competitions on uh, on Facebook Lives. All right, so I just want to give you a little bit of context here, Right. What I'm about to share with you and what we're about to make available to you guys has previously only ever been available to my private clients who pay me more than $30,000 a year for me to coach them through this process. So I just wanted to give you a little bit of context just to let you know that we're making this available for the first time outside of uh, outside of my private clients. And Dan Amolstaff, who, who was on a couple of days ago, who just blew everyone's mind, and uh, Dave Foy, who was on yesterday, I uh, just wanted to reiterate those guys, you know, I'm, I'm not exactly sure what their numbers are. Dave did share a few numbers yesterday. I think he said 300000 last year, $300,000 last year in online courses. I know Dana is a multiple six-figure-a-year business. Um, th this, you know, opportunity right now is – there for the taking. The online education industry is going to be worth $325 billion by the year 2025. Now, granted, a lot of that is in large corporate projects. So I'm not saying that we're all going to become millionaires or billionaires because a lot of that $325 billion is in large corporate uh, uh, education and e-learning. But it is a, it, it's a great opportunity to capitalize on this business model. The other thing that I want to uh, just reiterate, for those of you who haven't been tuning in this week, is why now is the best time to be doing this. Internet usage is up by over 70% because of the pandemic. Uh, ad costs have plummeted. So you, you marketing activities are down, which means you've got more access to a captive audience. And I honestly do believe that it's your time to get paid very well for your expertise uh, and have some leveraged income in your business because people are looking for someone to put a plan in front of them and give them something positive to focus on over the next few months uh, because there's lots of uncertainty in the world, right? Uh, and so people are looking for something to dive into and they're looking for new skills. They're looking to, to upskill and to, uh, to you know, expand their their skills and, and or, or whether it's improve their lifestyle, whether it's, you know, whether it's business or whether it's personal health or whatever the, the subject matter is that you are teaching. Speaking of which, just leave me a comment and let me know what is the course that you are planning on launching? Here we go. What course are you launching? I think we know what Angie's doing. What course are you launching? What course? And and just by the way, the course that you eventually launch may be a little different to the course you think you're going to launch and that's okay. But I'd just love to know for now, what course are you guys planning on launching as uh, as part of this just let me know in the comments here and I'll bring some comments up on the screen. Uh, Adi says, yay, Angie, the superwoman. <laughs> Fantastic. Yes. And Robert says, that's right. And no international shipping. Well, I can tell you this, Robert, if it was international shipping, it would have just come in the form of a, a voucher to go to the Apple store and sort it out. <laughs> that's what would have happened there. Uh, but it just turns out Angie here uh, is here in Australia. And Tina Hughes says, Bravo, Angie, fan bloody tastic. That's right. For those of you uh, who are not in Australia, that's how we talk to each other here in Australia. We we try and put an expletive in the middle of any word that we possibly can. Right? <laughs> it's just part of the way that we communicate. Um, congratulations, Angie. Uh, cool. All right. Zach Stepek is planning a course, Agile for Agencies. Fantastic. Uh, Sheila Hurd says, how to be more productive every day without doing more work. Love it. That's the irony, isn't it? You know, the truth to being more productive is actually just to do less, but do it better. Yeah. Uh, Lance here, guitar, then teaching other musos to share their skills. Love it. List building for direct sales businesses, says Chris Sweeney. Ooh, nice one. Nice one. Uh, Alex is looking at effortless UI design for founders and agency owners. There's a huge demand for that. Totally. Amy Hall, I love this. The MailChimp roadmap, going from nothing to done with email marketing for your business. You know, uh, Brennan Dunn has done extremely well out of teaching people basically how to use Drip, which is an email 
marketing platform. He had some really advanced kind of automation stuff going on between Drip and your website. And he rolled out a whole course on on Drip for e-commerce store owners and did exceptionally well with that. Um, uh, Paulina, how to move to the tropical island without the risks and expensive errors. Nice one. And I think there's going to be quite a few people once the zombie apocalypse is over. I mean, sorry, once the global pandemic is over, there'll be a lot of people looking to escape to a tropical island. Generating sustainable income for creative independence, says Judy Piggott. Love it. How to develop a sales system for your style, says Robert. I like it. Angie, of course, is doing SEO rock stars. How to get a design job in the creative industry, says Kelvin. Love it. And Tina, how to turn your gorgeous hand-painted silk pieces into beautiful products without all the tech overwhelm. Love it. There we go. Look at that. It's fantastic. All right, good stuff. Uh, let me just come back to my little script here and make sure I know what I'm doing. Here we go. So. Why me? Well, why are we doing this now? This is the number one question I get asked on, on email and in private messages. How do you create courses? Um, I shared a little bit of my story um, for those. So the reason I'm doing this now is because I'm frankly, I'm just sick of answering this question <laughs> on email. I've, I'm at capacity. And this is a really good indicator. When you're at capacity, because you're answering the same question over and over again, that's like, oh, hang on a second. Should turn this into an online course, make it once and just answer the question a thousand times. Uh, so that's why we're doing this now, because everyone is asking us how we roll out our courses and what our process is for creating courses. Um, I shared a little bit of uh, of my story the other day, so I'm not going to bore you with too many of those details. But needless to say, I have made just about every mistake you can possibly make when it comes to online courses. Um, and the, the biggest mistake I made was spending weeks creating a course was actually months in the planning, the shooting, the editing, and the whole launch sequence, uh, spending a long time creating a course that five people bought. And it was extremely um, embarrassing, really. I mean, if I'm honest about it, I was just horrified at how much of a failure it was. And it took me three and a half years to get my confidence back to uh, to create my second course, which was a multiple six-figure launch, my second course, because I'd learned a lot between the first failure and the second one. Here's some graphics from that first course we launched, the new business blueprint by Fuel HQ. We had worksheets and we had logos and we had videos and uh, we even bought new shirts that I could wear in the video and we bought backdrops and lights and all that kind of stuff and um, five people bought it and it was just incredibly embarrassing. So I'm here to make sure that you guys don't make the same mistakes, all right? So here's what you can expect if we work together over the next 90 days through the Course Creators Blueprint. Here are some of the things that I'm really hoping uh, for you guys. An online course adds a stream of leveraged income to your business because you make it once and you can sell it a million times. It positions you as the authority so you can instantly charge more for your done for you services. And here's something that a lot of people don't realize, teaching actually forces you to get extremely good at what you do very fast. Because <laughs> there's one thing I've learned about human beings uh, over the years is that we've, we're really good at protecting ourselves and not putting ourselves in a situation where we're just gonna fall on our face. So if you have people enroll in your SEO Rockstars course like Angie does, you can bet in the next six weeks, Angie's going to get super, super good at SEO and she's going to fill in all those gaps that she might have at the moment because she's teaching it. So teaching actually makes you a better student and it makes you better at what you do, which means you can then charge more if you're doing it as a service. So if Angie's got a course called SEO Rockstars, guess what? She's going to be more expensive to hire to do SEO. And in fact, if you look at someone like Kate Toon, who no longer does SEO for clients because you can't hire her because she's too busy teaching her students how to do it, right? And so just by fact that you're teaching a course, it positions you as the authority. It's kind of like writing the book and it forces you to get better at what you do. So ultimately, you can just charge more for your done for you services. Now, it's not all rainbows and unicorns. Uh, how do I know people will buy my course before I spend weeks making it is probably one of the biggest stumbling blocks that people have. How do I know what to teach in my course and how much content to include is another stumbling block. And it's such a crowded marketplace. Why will people buy an online course from me? Well, the truth is you're not going to be able to answer any of those questions until you get some paying customers. So Let's just wind back to 2015 when I decided to package up our membership site into a course and the course was going to be to help web design freelancers 
help them grow their business. Well, I wasn't the first uh, droid to do that. There were plenty of trainings online and plenty of online courses. In fact, if you went to Udemy in 2015, you could pay $27 for a course on how to get clients and how to run your web design business. And it was awesome. I looked at the content in that course and was like, wow, this is amazing. Like, like that was a huge thing in my head is like, why will people, I was going to charge 497 out of the gate. I knew that I wasn't charging anything less. I'd learned my mistake in the past. My new plan was add so much value up front to justify the the price of 497 for the course. And I knew that we had to sell it at 497 to be profitable. I was like, why will someone buy my course for $497 when they can go and get this course over at Udemy for 27 bucks? And here's what I've learned is that it's a big world and there are plenty of people who will just not resonate with you or not like you as a teacher or not like your personality. And that's okay. They can go buy someone else's course. I know, and as much as this pains me to admit this publicly, for some reason, there are crazy people in the world who just don't like my personality and they don't want to hang out with me and they don't want me to be their their their, their coach or their mentor or their educator. I mean, I you know, seriously, they have some problems they need to address, but that's okay. Um, who am I to judge? So they can go and do courses with other people. That's fine. And there are people that don't like the other course creators who come to me uh, because, you know, for whatever reason, they like my shirts or they like my haircut or my accent or my self-deprecating humor or whatever it is. I don't know. People generally buy from you because for, for a number of reasons. One, they want structure. Two, they like the cut of your jib, if you like. They like your personality. They like hanging out with you. They like you. And, and so to bring your personality into what you do and to be super authentic is the best way to overcome those objections we just talked about, right? And the best way to know whether or not people are going to buy from you is just to ask them and get them to give you money like Angie has. And then worry about the details later, yeah? So I think it's the worst kept secret in the world but for the first time, ladies and gentlemen, we are taking our entire process for how we create courses and launch them, and we're packaging it up into our brand new training, the Course Creators Blueprint. Look at that. We even have a logo for it. Ben, our in-house designer, has done a fantastic job putting together the graphics for the Course Creators Blueprint. Should we play that again? I kind of like that little animation there. I did that last night in Final Cut pretty cool, isn't it? It's like a static television thing going, like changing the channel. I'm going to play it one more time. The Course Creators Blueprint, of course, is now uh, open. I'll give you a link for it very shortly. But what I want to do first is, uh, should I give you the link now before I walk you through what it is? I'll just give you the link. Here we go. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to bring up, where is my, here we go. I'm just going to bring this up here. Here's the link. I think this works. I hope it works. WPlinks.io slash CCB Go, that is Course Creators Blueprint Go, CCB Go, wplinks.io slash CCB Go is the short link that you can, Yogesh is already there, he's already found it. Uh, Kelvin, don't buy it, you get it, you're a maverick, my friend, so you don't need to get it, Kelvin, because mavericks get everything, so you don't need to buy it, because you'll get it. So there you go, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through exactly what it's what is in it and how we're going to roll it out, okay? So I need, think I need to share my screen. Let me just come back to StreamYard here and share my screen. And I'm going to share my, here we go. I'm going to share this. Yay. Oh, what? Come on. Why do I have to sign in? I already did that. All right. Uh, here we go. Let me just, <laughs> all going to plan, isn't it? Let me just unshare my screen. I'll sign in. Oh, dear. Dear, dear, dear. Here we go. I just because I just don't want to give you my passwords. That's why I've just unshared my screen momentarily. It's kind of all on the all on the page anyway. But I'm going to walk you through uh, what we're going to cover, okay? Because I just want you to be really clear. I want to be really transparent and really clear about what we're going to cover and how we're going to roll this out. Okay? Here we go. Share my screen. Here we go. Yay! There it is. Okay. So the Course Creators Blueprint, these are the big chunky items that we're going to cover. This is a 12-week implementation boot camp, okay? So basically, we're going to hang out in a Facebook group for the next 12 weeks, yeah? And I'm going to be dropping videos and going live in that group 
uh, to give you to walk you through the process. You're basically going to watch over my shoulder as I walk through our process. We've got uh, project plan templates and all the, and I'll walk you through these details in a moment. We've got project plan templates that we follow whenever we roll out a course. So whenever we decide to roll out a course, the first thing we do is we go into Asana, we open up our, our course creation template, and we just start following the list, right? Now, the good news for you guys is I'm going to give you a massive bonus in a minute, which means you're literally going to be able to uh, follow the bouncing ball and watch over my shoulder as I do it. Now, here are some of the things that we're going to cover. First thing we're going to answer is the, we're going to answer the, f- the four big questions around your course. The first thing we're going to do is, is f- find out why you're launching a course. And there's typically three different kinds of reasons that you launch a course. One is financial. Let's just talk about money straight up. We're going to make money from launching a course. Absolutely. Don't know how much, but we're going to make money from launching a course. The sec- So we've got financial objectives. The second, Alison, Alison Watman, I think it is. Thank you very much for just joining the course creator's blueprint. I haven't even started explaining what's in it and people are joining it. Okay. Um, the second is non-financial objectives. Now, non-financial objectives might be I want to position myself as a premium service provider so I can get paid more for my services. Happy days. So if you're like, a, you know, Angie, for example, you're doing SEO, you want to get paid more for your SEO, producing a course is definitely going to help with that. If you're a personal trainer, you want to get paid more for your personal training, producing a course is definitely going to help with that. So that's their non-financial objectives. The third type of objective you might have for your course is just personal objectives. So I'm working with a private client at the moment who really want to get featured on certain podcasts. And just because it's a legacy thing for them, right? They just want to be a part of that world. And having an online course is, is a great way for them to open those doors. So what are the personal, maybe you just want to go and live in, you know, on a tropical island for three months of the year with your family and you want this leveraged income to be able to do that. So financial, non-financial and personal objectives. That's the why we're doing it. Then we're going to talk about who. Who is your most likely student? We're going to do some basic avatar building, which is really straightforward. Then we're going to do a deep dive into audience building. You might notice, let me just zoom in here. You might notice these numbers here, just give you a little bit of an indication as to uh, the different types of things that we're going to teach and, and kind of how much content is in here. Because I'm not going to show you all of it. Wouldn't want to do that, would we? But I am going to teach you how to build an audience and where to build an audience and how to do that organically so you don't have to spend any money and also how to do it with really, really cheap ads if you want to spend money. But if you don't want to spend money, it's fine. You can build an audience without spending money. So that's the who, right? Then we're going to talk about the what. And we've covered a little bit of that this week. We've talked a little bit about the transformation. But I want you to get, I want to get super clear with what it is you're teaching and the transformation that you're offering. And then we're going to do a deep dive into the offer. And we're going to make your, oh, hello, Amy Hall. Thank you for joining the Course Creators Blueprint. Welcome aboard. I'm just getting these uh, Stripe notifications on my phone. Sorry to be distracted, but I want to welcome people as they join. So then we're going to do a deep dive into the offer. Now, the offer is one of the most important things that you'll learn because if you don't get the offer right, you'll make the mistake that we did with Fuel HQ, which is you'll go make the course and no one will buy it. So we're going to do a deep dive straight off the bat. Like this is, you know, probably here, we're probably in like the end of the first week or the start of the second week. We're just getting your offer dialed in straight away. Yeah. We haven't turned the cameras on yet. We haven't written any scripts. We haven't designed any lessons. We're just getting your offer right to get some traction. Okay. Okay. You know, if you follow the bouncing ball, do what Angie's done, you'll most likely be making money in the second week here because you just get the offer right, okay? So we've we've answered why, who, what, then how are you actually going to deliver this transformation to these people? Because that's what people pay you for. They don't pay you for videos. They don't pay you for worksheets. They don't pay you for lessons. In fact, I have members reach out to us all the time saying, did you know one of your courses is being completely swiped and given away on one of those torrent websites for a hundred bucks? And I'm like, yeah, whatever. I don't care. Those people are never my customer anyway. And they don't get access to me. They don't get to hang out with me in the groups. They're not buying a transformation. They're buying videos. They don't get it. They get the videos and the worksheets and they're like, there's no context, right? So people don't pay for the assets. They pay for the transformation. So here we're going to talk about, okay, how do we get them that transformation? And this is when we actually start developing our materials for our our course. So our workbooks, our lessons, our curriculum, we start developing that here. We start developing it here, okay? So basically by the time 
you start to have meaningful conversations with people, as Angie did this week, you've got a rough idea of what you're going to teach them to get them from beginner to rock star. Then things get super tactical. Then we're going to validate your course. Angie's already doing this, but we're going to show you how to do it organically and with paid if you want to accelerate it. And by the way, you don't need to spend any money on ads to get through this program, okay? If you want to, you can, but if you don't want to, you don't have to. My my mission is for you to do all this organically without spending money on ads, okay? Ads generally make things quicker, but they can cost money and you can lose money running ads because it's Facebook and we're in the year of an election. So who knows what's going to happen, right? But we're going to validate your course so that before you do any of this stuff, we've got paying customers, right? Now, the first time I actually followed this process, as it is here, as I said, I think I mentioned yesterday uh, on the call with Dave Foy, we did $10,000. We had 10 customers pay $1,000 to go through what we called a pilot program. So that for me was huge validation. Your validation is going to be entirely up to you. Whatever whatever you need to do to validate your idea. That And what we're basically doing here is we're proving to ourselves that this is an idea worth pursuing, okay? This is an idea worth pursuing. Uh, let me just come back to StreamYard for a second. Okay, I'm going to get to some... I'm going to get to some uh, questions in a moment, okay? So just hang in there because I'm going to answer questions in a moment. Uh, right, once we've done that, I'm then going to show you how to roll this out as a pilot program. I'm going to give you all the mechanics that you need to roll this out as a pilot program. This here, ladies and gentlemen, this launch sequence is worth, a, a te, a, I don't know, look, potentially tens of thousands of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars. This this launch sequence here to my business is worth over seven figures a year, okay? So what it's worth to you, I don't know, but it's worth at least $10,000, just this launch sequence alone. Because what I'm going to do here, you'll see this massive amount of content here, which is not going to take you years to consume because I've chunked it down into bite-sized pieces, like little, think of it as little separate ingredients that you put in the mixing bowl and mix it up, right? There's lots of ingredients, but there's also a very structured plan to get through it. This is... Once you've kind of done this and done this, you can skip straight to this. What a lot of people do is they do this before they've done this stuff, right? Once you've done this and you've got a bit of an audience building thing going on, this here is the rocket fuel. This is where you pour fuel on the fire. And we're going to show you exactly how we launch our courses. Now, <clears throat> let me just pre-frame this by saying this. This launch sequence, you might not actually do this in the next 90 days. You might just do this stuff here. You might validate. You might do a pilot program, make some cash, validate your idea, get your people through your course, go, sweet, now we've got a course. Then you might do this, right? doesn't matter because guess what? You've got lifetime access to this. So I'm telling you, this here is worth multiple six figures over the next three or four years as a course creator, and we're just going to give it to you as part of this training. Whether you do it in the next 12 weeks or whether you revisit it once you've done this, it's entirely up to you. It depends on where you're at in your journey, right? But what I don't want to do is I don't want to leave holes in what I'm teaching you and I don't want to get you stuck. So I'm giving you this so that if you're ready to do a, a launch sequence and you validated it and you've already got some social proof, happy days, let's explode the thing by giving you this launch sequence. I have every intention of actually taking this and turning it into its own course that will sell for you know, at least a thousand bucks every day of the week. Uh, we j I just haven't had time to get there yet, but that is definitely something that's on my radar is just to make that its own course. We're also then going to walk you through the sales technology. This is like all the technical bits that you might need. Um, you know, I'll probably mention WordPress and a few plugins, but there's other things you can use. Um, as I said, like I, one of the first course I sold following this platform, uh, this framework, I just, you, I just had a PayPal link, right? So, but I am going to show you sales pages, checkout forms. I'm going to show you how to, how to do things like two-step checkout forms and cart abandon sequences. So when people go to your checkout page, they put in their name and email address and they don't complete their payment details. How do we then follow them up with email to capture those uh, customers? Because they're the hottest customers we've got. I'm going to um, show you what to do on thank you pages, how to engineer one-time offers and one-click upsells, all that kind of cool stuff, right? This is more kind of advanced techniques, but I don't want you to get here and go, well, what do we do next? I'm just giving it to you. Okay. So here's what you do next. And then finally, I'm going to show you how to deliver the course. Okay. Um, I'm going to show you how we deliver courses when we first launch them. All right. So that is essentially 
the uh, what's included and, and what you're going to learn and what the outcomes are. I uh, just want to come back here to stream you. Yeah? Hit me up in the chat. Let me know if this is exciting. In fact, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to stop sharing my screen. I'm going to come back here and I'm going to say, give me a yes in the comments if this is exciting. If you're super excited about this, uh, only eight items in the tech stack. Yep, it's pretty lean, Angie. Uh, give me a yes in the comments. Angie said yes. Mary Ryan has said yes. Nick Cree says, got to find some way to hang out with you again, Troy <laughs> Dean. Totally, man. As soon as these restrictions are over. What is it with Queensland too? Like there's so many Queenslanders on this call. It's crazy. Uh, Yogesh says yes. Jennifer Franklin says yes. Awesome. Amy Hall says, is the course dropping all at one time or is it live? That's a great question, Amy. I'm going to answer that in a moment. Mary Ryan says yes. Robert Mecklen says yes. Alex Baccarella says yes. Kelvin says hell yeah. All right, cool. So let me get to some questions and then I'll uh, – in fact, let me do some let me do some questions in a minute because I want to show you some bonuses. Would you like to see some bonuses? Angie's in the green room. Angie, just nod your head if you'd like to see some bonuses. Yes, Angie's nodding. Yes. We want to see some bonuses. All right. Here are some bonuses that we're giving you. Again, because I don't want you to get stuck anywhere. I just want to give you everything you need to get it done. All right. So uh, first round of bonuses. We're giving you our complete Trello board so you can follow the bouncing ball and implement it. We're giving you complete scripts for adding massive value to your audience before you ask for the sale. And we're also giving you fill in the blank email templates for your entire buzz and launch sequences so that you don't get stuck anywhere there. Second round of bonuses we're giving you, can't abandon email sequences to prevent sales from falling through the cracks. So they're pre-written email sequences. Sales page framework and video training based on proven methodologies that we use time and time again. That's over $3,385 worth of bonuses to make sure you don't get stuck anywhere, okay? I'm going to talk about how we're going to roll this out. We're going to roll this out in a Facebook group. There's no members website yet. There will be in fact, once we're through this 12-week implementation bootcamp, you'll have lifetime access to all of the training materials. You'll be given login details to our members website, and you can log into our members website and access the training materials for the rest of your life. They'll always be there in the members website. But for the next 12 weeks, we're just going to roll this out in a Facebook group. And it's going to be a combination of videos that I record and drop in the Facebook group and me answering lots of questions in the Facebook group. And occasionally I'll pop up and just answer some questions live in the Facebook group. In fact, I might even make some of the videos live because you're literally going to be looking over my shoulder as I do this. So I'll probably just open my screen, dig into Asana or Trello, show you how the email templates work, and I'll just do it live in the group because that's easier than me recording it and then editing it and then uploading it into Facebook. It's just quicker if I do it live. So be a combination. It's not all dumped at once. It's going to be rolled out over a period of time. And the reason we're doing that is because I don't want to overwhelm you with too much information and I want to keep the momentum going, right? So when I say 12 weeks, we might get through the content sooner than that, but know that you've got my support in that group for the next 12 weeks because I want to give you some time to watch the content, understand how it fits together, go do it, come back in a few days and ask questions, okay? So it's going to be very, very dynamic. It's not me just standing up the front, flapping my gums for six weeks and you going, thanks, Troy. It's going to be very, very interactive, okay? Hope that answers that question, uh, whoever asked it. I can't remember who asked it, but uh, whoever asked it, I hope that answers that question. Uh, Sheila, yes, email support at WP Elevation, I think. I think email support at WPElevation.com. Sheila said, any chance of a special promo for elevators? I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember. Email support and Michelle will sort you out, okay? <clears throat> yes, Zach says, and draw on an iPad. Correct. There'll be lots of drawing on the iPad, okay? Um, okay, so uh, yes, Angie says, I love the done with you Facebook group model. Exactly. Yes, Angie says, right, so with the cart abandoned emails, you could have another 40-plus students. Correct. We typically work on about a 25% conversion off the cart abandoned sequence, right? So 40 people enter their details and, you know, 50 people enter their details and only 10 actually check out. Out of those 40 left over, you should be able to get another 10 to 12 of those customers back in, right? 
All right, uh, let me just come back here. Let me just talk about pricing so we can just, oh, hang on. Yes, somebody just liked us on Facebook and my little counter, which is there, my little counter sitting on top of the fireplace just went up. So someone just liked us on Facebook. Hey, Yogesh just joined the Course Creators Blueprint and he has confirmed, oh, so has Nick Cree, you legend, Nick. Love your work. Um, I'm pretty sure uh, that there is a deal for elevators. So if you're an existing WP Elevation member, you should email support at wpelevation.com because I think they've got a little coupon for you. All right, um, let's talk about pricing because uh, I know you want to know. As I mentioned before, this training has only previously been available to my private clients who pay me 30 grand a year to work with me one-on-one. -on -one. It's also available to our Mavericks Club members who pay 20 grand a year to be in our Mavericks Club mastermind. Other than that, the only other way to get this previously proof ultimate agency package, which is 10 grand. And I know there are a few people on this call who have our ultimate agency package, which basically means you get everything, all of our courses and all future courses. And that's a 10K investment. However, of course, I'm not going to charge you anywhere near that. We're making this available to you guys at a special pre-launch price of just $497. I think there are some payment plans available too. I think you can split it over three months. So uh, the link is wplinks.io slash ccbgo, course creators blueprint go, wplinks.io slash ccbgo. That will take you to the beautiful sales page that Ben uh, has spent many, many days working on. Uh, and I'm very proud of the copy that I wrote on that page, all written by these little fingers here on the keyboard. And guess what? I'm going to reverse engineer that sales page and give you the copy framework that we used for it and show you exactly how we lay it out as part of the course creators blueprint course. Because of course we would do that because I want, I want you to get stuck. I want to give you everything you need to actually um, get it done. Samir says, this is crazy. You're removing all the frictions that common people have, the tech challenges. Exactly. That's right. Uh, so now I think I'm happy to answer some questions. Do you have any questions? Wow, look at that, Nick. Dude, I sold my web dev business and all in on course creation. Legend. Good on you. Unreal. Man, I can't wait to hang out with you again, Nick. I've missed you, brother. Uh, Samir Shah says, boom, boom, boom. Funny you mentioned that. I was singing that song this morning before we went live. I was actually singing, boom, 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 let's go back to my room, whoever that song is by. I was teaching it to Oscar, and I realized that um, I probably shouldn't teach it to Oscar because he might go to daycare next week and he might start singing it, and that could be awkward. Uh, Lance says, thoughts on breaking up into mini courses? Yeah, we'll definitely talk about that, uh, Lance. Um, the answer is it depends on what your customers are willing to pay for. That's the answer to that question. In fact, that's the answer to a lot of questions. It depends on what your customers are willing to pay for. All right, uh, questions. Who's got some questions? I'm happy to answer any questions and hang out here for a bit longer. Uh, I am respectful of everyone's time, of course, so I don't want to uh, be here all day. There's the link, by the way. Uh, here it is. Where is it? There we go. Come on. Oh, oh, why didn't it work? There we go, wplinks.io slash ccb, go. Rory Flynn, great question. Uh, how similar is this to Rockstar Empires? Um, well, there's probably about 5 or 10% overlap, I reckon. And Rory, if you are a Rockstar Empires customer, email support at wpelevation.com because I think we've got a deal for you guys as well. Uh, but there's only probably about 5 or 10% crossover really this is all new content this is all completely brand new content um would you be surprised to learn that the content actually hasn't been made yet would that surprise you to learn that um <laughs> angie says i loved your wordcamp talks can't wait to see your course who's that is that me is that me or someone else you're talking to <laughs> oh is that oh, i reckon you're talking to nick you talking to Nick Cree? Yeah, you should talk to Nick Cree. Of course you are. Um, okay, do you have any other questions? Any other questions here? Everyone's on the – I can see everyone's on the uh, – <laughs> Robert says, what? What do you mean you haven't made the course yet? Uh, 
<laughs> Angie says, nope, I am not surprised. Rory says, software subscriptions required. Uh, nope. Nope, you do not need to subscribe to any new software going through this course. You might choose that you want to, but you don't need to. Absolutely not. No software subscriptions required. Amy Hall says, no, I'm not surprised. Uh, do you suggest to record the course after the pre-sale or do it live with your students? Well, that's a good question, Samir. Uh, so I'm going to be doing a combination. I'm going to be doing bits and pieces of both. I'll be doing some live in the group and I'll be doing some pre-recorded because there's some stuff that I know that you just need, right? So for example, in Angie's case, talking about an SEO course, and I don't know anything about Angie's course, but I'm just going to make something up here, right? If you were going to teach someone how to do some basic keyword research using, I don't know, Moz or Uber Suggest or whatever, well, you just make that video because you know that everyone in the course needs to know how to do that. So you just make that video, pre-record it and stick it up, right? However, there will be a bunch of questions that come up during you rolling out the course. And that's the stuff that you might want to just dive in and answer uh, that stuff live. Sheila Hurd says, where can I find a young Troy Dean on his very first course? Well, Sheila, uh, once you're in the program, I'll share it with you because I actually do have some footage of me in the Fuel HQ uh, New Business Blueprint course. I found it recently, of course, because I was going and doing research for this program. And um, uh, it's a little embarrassing, but I'll share it with you. Um, yes, Cody. Uh, yeah, they do. WPE members get a special coupon on this. Uh, so email support at wpelevation.com and we'll let you know. Robert Mecklen, when does it start? Good question. Uh, by the way, doors are open for seven days. So doors close next Friday Australian time. And it's hilarious when I'm in here on live streams and I can hear Oscar having a meltdown in the – he's completely melting down out there, which is hilarious for me. Not so funny for my wife, but hilarious for me. Um <laughs> So uh, it'll actually roll out uh, Monday, October 5. So we're going to leave the card open for a week. Uh, there'll be a welcome video and some stuff in the group. We'll just have a great conversation in the group for the next week. And then Monday, October 5, we'll actually start rolling out the content. Yeah. And uh, it'll be, you know, there'll be like a handful of videos during the week. Each week there'll be a handful of videos and they're super short. It's not going to take you a long time to get through them. I don't want you spending hours watching me in a Facebook group as vain as I am. And as much as that would be super good for my ego, that's use useless for you guys, right? What I want you to do is I want you to take massive action and ask lots of questions and I want to get you unstuck. Why? Because selfishly, I want at least... I want most of you to hit a home run of some description so I can then use you as a case study when we finally launch this thing, you know, early next year on our website and we put the price up, I'll have a whole bunch of testimonials and case studies and social proof on the sales page. That's why we're doing it, right? <laughs> uh, and also I can promise you'll get radical transparency from me. For anyone who knows me, you know me anyway, you know that that's how we operate. But if you don't know me, then... Um, uh, it will just be radically transparent in the group and uh, answer any of your questions and talk you through exactly what needs to happen. And you'll literally be watching over my shoulder as I walk through the process in our business, right? We did this for the client acquisition formula training in June, which was a multiple six-figure launch. We're doing it right now. We've been doing this for the last 2015, five years. Five years ago, we launched the Blueprint as a course, right? So um, uh, uh, you just watch over my shoulder as we do it. And we have more courses lined up for next year. We've got a copywriting course lined up. We've got a whole bunch of things coming next year. So we, we're planning them out internally and that's what you're going to see. You're going to see how we do it. And then you're, I'm also going to help you customize this for your business, right? And for your specific situation. So it's not just, Hey, here's the boilerplate, go sort it out. Uh, I'm going to be answering lots of questions and creating lots of content on the fly to make sure that you guys get results. Yeah. Uh, do, 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 do. All right. Any other questions? <laughs> Yogesh says no questions everyone's reading the sales page and putting their details in yes I know <laughs> um, all right uh, you need an email course yes it's on the cards Amy Hall we need an email course an email marketing course it's on the cards definitely uh, the reason we haven't done an email course yet to, to be completely transparent is because I don't think we've nailed it 
we are still working on marketing automation and email segmentation and email marketing in our business. We're just not quite there yet. We just haven't nailed it. So once we nail it, then we'll do it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so and we need an SEO course. Again, the reason we haven't done that is because we just haven't nailed it yet. Our SEO is a disaster. I don't mind admitting our SEO is a disaster. Um, uh, Zach Stepek says, out of all the mentors I've had, Troy and his team have made me the most money while reducing my stress levels. Love it. Awesome. Uh, Terry Loving says, how much time do we have to act on the offer? Good question. Uh, you've got seven days. So this deal is open for seven days. I will say this though. Let me be completely transparent with you, right? Amy Hall already knows this because she's already bought. When you enroll in the Course Creators Blueprint, there is an upsell. There is a one-time offer upsell. And here's how it works. When you enroll in the Course Creators Blueprint for 497, the thank you page will offer you an upsell where you get to hang out with me live on Zoom to go deep and get additional coaching, right? That is an upsell. I don't know what the, I can't remember what the price is. I think it's the same. I think it's 497, but every day the upsell price goes up, right? So there's the scarcity, Terry, okay? So I'm going to totally support you guys in the Facebook group. Don't worry about that. But if you want extra coaching and you want to hang out with me live on Zoom and get extra coaching, then that's an upsell. The upsell price goes up every day between now and the end of the launch. Uh, but the price of the actual course doesn't. The Course Creators Blueprint is 497 this time only with all the bonuses that we're, we're giving. It closes in seven days. When we finally launch this course next year, it will be at least double that price and won't have um, uh, the, the same bonuses that we've got now. Uh, cool, cool. Thank you, Nick. Uh, yes, Amy Hall said, there you go, it's 497. So the upsell, the additional coaching is 497. And so that's just if you're in a hurry and you just want to accelerate your results and you just want some extra accountability and you want to make sure that, you know, we, we get this done, then that's what that's there for. But you'll, you're still going to be very well supported in the Facebook group if you don't. That's just for the people who are, you know, in a hurry and just – Want to want to take more action and get a faster result. So that's the scarcity piece there, Terry. That's the that piece goes up every day. Um, <laughs> Amy says maybe you need a guest instructor <laughs> for your email course. <laughs> awesome, love it, love it, love it. Okay. Uh, any other questions? Everyone's just on the sales page, aren't they? That's what's going on right now. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. All right, I'm going to bounce out of here in a couple of minutes because um, Oscar needs to be hung upside down and thrown on the trampoline. So that's what I'm intending to do <laughs> once I get out of here. Amy says, I've had this on my list to do for five years. Awesome. Well, when the student is ready, the teacher shall appear. So here we are. Thank you, Amy. Uh, Terry says, got it. Oh, Terry Loving says, got it. Awesome. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, um, so I think, do I need to recap anything? Do I need to recap anything? Uh, let me just recap the bonuses while we're here, right? Because uh, these may or may not be on the sales page. Complete Trello board. I want to talk about that in a sec. Complete Trello board so you can just follow the bouncing ball. Complete scripts for adding massive value to your audience before you ask for the sale. And the fill-in-the-blank email templates for your entire buzz and launch sequences. So all of the emails to send are pre-written for you. You just fill in the blanks. Uh, we're also giving you cart abandoned email sequences to prevent sales from falling through the cracks, sales page framework and video training based on the proven methodology that we're using right now. So that sales page you're looking at right now, we're just going to give you a, a reverse engineer that. That's over $3,385 worth of bonuses. Thank you, Rory, who's in the course creators blueprint. Um, uh, Kelvin says, what do I do with my 20 leads waiting for my course? Kelvin, I'll tell you. Uh, you do what Angie did. You get on the phone, you talk to them, and you take their money. <laughs> That's what you do. And you tell them it's coming. You say, hey, look, you need to enroll now. Uh, it starts whenever, however, however long you think you need. It starts mid-October. It starts in a couple of weeks, however long you think you need. Um, yes, when we, we are going to Nick says, we're going to have to talk plugins. I'm impressed with the one-click upsell. Pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Oh, don't worry. I'll walk you through all of that. When does it actually start again? Monday, October 5, that's uh, Australian time. So if you're in the States, it'll be Sunday afternoon, October 4. We start and it will just be in the group. You just get content in the group. It'll be organized. It'll be all structured and organized into units in the group. Angie told them three weeks. Perfect. So you've given yourself enough time. 
Um, I'll talk about all that, Angie. Yeah, there's a few different options uh, in terms of the plugins. And oh, I want to talk about the Trello board. The reason we've done this on Trello, so we use Asana internally, right? But you can't export anything out of Asana because it's a cluster. And I know a lot of people use ClickUp. So guess what? You can take the Trello board that we give you and you can export it out into Asana or ClickUp. That's why we put it in Trello. And I big shout out to Eva, who is my executive assistant and has been recently elevated a project manager and is really the glue that holds all this together. Eva has basically built that Trello board from our Asana template with all the bits and pieces and my mind map and my iPad drawings and my ramblings, and she's pieced it all together into a Trello board that she's still putting the finishing touches on so that she can look at it and go, this makes perfect sense. I know exactly what to do and I'm just going to follow the bouncing ball. So she's done an enormous amount of work getting that Trello board right. And then you can export that out into either Asana or ClickUp based on whatever you use, right? Um, so the whole plan is there. You don't need, you don't need to, you know, you're not even going to need to make notes during this course, I'm telling you. Like we've made all the notes for you. We're just going to give it to you. Um. Cool. Angie's sales page is on the Facebook page. It's good. There you go. There you go. Oh, that's right. Angie's sales page is in the Facebook group. That's right. It's in the Digital Mavericks Facebook group. I wonder if I can, here we go. Let me just share my screen. Do, do, do. Here we go. Where are we? Digital Mavericks. Here we go. Uh, uh, where is, I think it might back up here. Here we go. There's Angie's sales page. Check that out, baby. Look at that. Oh, yeah, I'm just going to knock up a sales page, she says. <laughs> Fantastic. Massive action. That's why she got the iPad, right? So there you go. There's a the sales page. Done. Um, uh, cool. Going to stop sharing that. Come back. All right. Any other final questions? <laughs> Nick says, can you just do my course for me? <laughs> awesome. I've just moved from Asana to ClickUp. Yeah. How good is ClickUp? I love ClickUp. We still use Asana in-house. And, uh, <laughs> but anyway, uh, it doesn't really matter whatever you use. Uh, Cody says, sweetness. Thanks for taking care of us. WPE members just signed up. Appreciate you guys. Awesome. Hey, Cody. Welcome. Just saw it come through then. Good stuff. Welcome to Course Creators Blueprint. Excellent. All right. I'm going to bounce out of here. Uh, as I said, we're open for seven days. The URL, uh, again, is wplinks.io slash ccbgo. Uh, little, little hint, if you click on that link, you will be pixeled. wplinks.io will actually pixel you so that we can retarget you with lots of Facebook ads. There we go. I'll show you how to do that too. Uh, wplinks.io slash ccbgo. Land says, play a quick riff to finish. No chance. No way. I haven't put a guitar course out yet because I'm not good enough, Land. See, you got to play to your strengths, buddy. And I'm just not quite there yet. Anyway, I'm focused. I don't want to, I don't want to scatter my focus. Uh, when will email scripts be available? I was going to launch in two weeks. Hey, Ron, get in the group and start asking questions, man. And I will give you whatever you need as soon as you need it. Cause we've got it all here, right? So if you need something early, I'll just make it happen. Uh, there we go. Cody Stinson, thank you very much. Uh, all right, I'm going to bounce out of here, but I'll just leave you with the final uh, link here. Here it is, wplinks.io slash ccbgo. That's where you go to set up your details, your uh, name, contact details, billing details, and then choose your payment plan. And I'll look forward to seeing you inside the Course Creators Blueprint. It's been an amazing week. Thank you all for being a part of it. I look forward to seeing you inside. Until then, I'm Troy Dean. Go Elevate.